Till the rabbi can, can you say a few words meanwhile? We're starting this week, we'll, we're going to say two parashat together. Chukat and, and Balak, right? Right. Chukat, yeah. the Torah tells us that you have to make poor Adomo, and nobody understands why you have to make poor Adomo. The Medras will bring it up. But Moshe Rabbeinu says that he did hear from the Shem the reason for poor Adomo. And Moshe Rabbeinu is the one that did the first poor Adomo. And when you look in the Rambam, he says that till today, so far, they make nine poor Adomos. Who's going to make the ten poor Adomo? No. Mashiach. What's poor Adomo? Poor Adomo is Metair Tom Met. All the Tumet that we got from Tom Met is come from where? From poor o, that the Bnei Israel did in the desert, Chet Egel. If Bnei Yisrael would not do the Chet Egel, we wouldn't have the Indian for Misa at all. We will continue living because there is no Tumah. The only thing that make a body to die is because of the Tumah. And Tumah Smash is the, the most common one, right? And the Quran have to be very careful from it, etc. But what has to do this poor Adumo with the poor that Moshe Rabbeinu did? And the last poor that Melech HaMashiach will do when, when it will come, Bezat Hashem. And, and Ramam, the Ramam bring it to La Aloche, like, why you have to bring it to La Aloche? What is Nogea now? Moshiach will come, we will know that. Why you have to do it now? The Rebbe explained that by Moshe Rabbeinu understood the reason for poor Adomo is because it's bottled to Hashem. Every mitzvah, it says, you have to understand why you are doing it. You have to try. Some mitzvahs you, are, you understand better, some mitzvahs you understand less. But the old mitzvah, the Abisha told us that you should do it, I want you to understand. And then the Abisha says, at the same time, when you do the mitzvah, do it as a chukah, because I command you. Let's say, kibbud avahem. A goy, a goy will understand also why I have to do kibbud avahem, because they raise me, they give me food, I have to do kibbud avahem. No, we have to do it because the Abisha command us to do it. I make sense, fine. But we had the, the koyach. So in other words, every mitzvah we have a mitzvah of we are doing. But some, you could say, we're doing it because we don't un, we, we understand it. So the mitzvah of is not so strong. For example, like by Roma Vino, the Abisha test them with 10 tests, right? And by the last test, by Akedo, the Abisha says, if you pass this test, then I know that all the nine is really, really test. What do you mean? He was testing a nine testing and he passed. Why the 10 one is showing that he really doing it? Because by the 10 one, what happened is something with the Seichel did not make sense. And nevertheless, Avraham Avinu did it. Why make no sense in the Seichel? Because Avraham Avinu was uh, promised by the Ebeshter that I'm going to change your name, you're going to have a son, and from this son, you're going to have a continuation. So that means. He knew that if he has a son, Itzchok, Itzchok will have another child, and that continue his life. Then the same, the same Ebeshter that told him this broche, what he told him? To shechet his son, Itzchok. So it makes no sense. So he could have said, one second, I'm confused. You told me that I'm going to have a son, Itzchok, that I'm going to have a, a continuation from him. And then he told me to, to shechet him. They make no sense, right? But he didn't ask this question. The Abishra command me, now this is command, now I do this. So the Abishra says, ah, you see, you pass the test, I know that you're my son, I know you, you are the best. By, so what do you see over here? The, the, the Avraham Avinu did something above his seichel. <coughs> so he did the mitzvahs, not because he understood, because the Abishra commanded us. So we have the clear to do the mitzvahs, all tayag mitzvahs, why? Because the Abishra commanded us. So the question is like this, Moshe Rabbeinu asked Hashem why we are doing Pura Adomo, and the Abishra answered to him. Masha'en Ken Shlomo HaMelech, when he was studying the Torah, he says, Achakma, which is higher for my sechel, I can't understand it. No matter how much I try, how much reason I'm giving, I can't I can get it. So Miman Ashach, if the Abishra want people to understand why Moshe is, why Shlomo HaMelech no. So, Mas saying that Moshe Rabbeinu is his, the way he commanded mitzvahs is because he was bitter to Hashem, 
higher than our seichel. He could, he could understand to do mitzvahs even higher than our seichel. So there is one person that's doing it, then we have the care to continue doing it. And this is the connection between Moshe Rabbeinu by, by saying, the first poor Adomo Moshe Rabbeinu did, but it's not enough. When he did a poor Adomo, there is command that you take the effort and, and spread on that tmeim, then they could be tall. But at the same time, there's a command to take from this effort and keep it in a jar, the zikaron, and to mix it by the next one. That means the next poor Adomo that they, they didn't did, it came from the poor Adomo that Moshe Rabbeinu did. And the third one also, because from the, the second one, you have to mix with the third one. Every time you have to mix. So the last Bora Duma that the Rambam write, that who is going to make it, Melech HaMashiach, which effer they're going to use, which mix they're going to use, from the same jar that Moshe Rabbeinu did, right? Because he's going from one to the other. Where is this jar right now that we know that it's high Vekayim, that know that it exists, and it's in Yerushalayim, in the, in the Mechilot, in the tunnels, that uh, Shlomo Melech, when he built the base of Mikdosh, he saw in Ruach HaKodesh is going to be destroyed. So the Ebeshter showed him a, a certain way to build underneath Beis Amikdosh uh, mm -hmm. tunnels, like a, a safe, and over there to, to put a few things. One of them is this effort from Paul Aduma. That means it exists right now. The only thing is we don't know where it is. We cannot use it to, to put it with the next Paul Aduma that we find. And the only one will do it is Malach HaMashiach. So you see the connection between Moshe Rabbeinu they did the first Pora Dumo, the Chaper on, and the Tumas Mes, the Chaper and the, and the Chet Aegel that Bnei Yisrael did in the desert. And the last Pora Dumo, Melech Mashiach will do, is one, one connection. So, another thing that Rebbe says, that the Pora Dumo was done by Midbar, by Moshe Rabbeinu. And the Rebbe asked, why the Torah said the word by Midbar? We know that Moshe Rabbeinu did the, the Pora Dumo and the Midbar. Why have to use the word Pamidbo? To teach us that if in a yid that is in a level of Midbo, that mean that is far away from Yiddishkeit, and is Midbo is it says Mokom Nachon Sof Mokom Nachash Akrav Asraf. It's a bad, bad place. Nobody people people cannot live there. Only only Mazikim living there. So you could say, oh forget it, this one is already so low, I'm not gonna deal with them. So the Teir Atzal is not by Midbo. Even a Yid like this, Moshe Rabbeinu wants to make him and bring him back to Yiddishkeit. So in other words, there is no Jew that is too far from, from the Ebeshter. Every Jew, no matter how far he is, even if he's a Midbo, he could come to be connected to the Ebeshter. That's why the Teir continues saying that, the, that, that Moshe Rabbeinu did, the poet that Moshe Rabbeinu did, he did it in the desert to give us Kechas to continue. And we see with the Rebbe, on Sunday, the Rebbe never told somebody, oh, you don't get a dollar because you don't put filling today, or you don't get a dollar because uh, you don't keep kashos. The opposite. The Rebbe told every person to take upon himself some mitzvah, to mechazek himself, and this mitzvah will make another mitzvah. That's number one. Number two, the, the Rebbe teaches that every Jew could have the koyach to make of another Jew. And even if you don't make of another Jew, make of yourself. Whatever you did today is not enough. Tomorrow will be better. There was like a chosid that we used to say Kriyat Shmer Shalamise and used to say the Ebeshter, ah, today I was this and this. Tomorrow I'll be much better. But he was a tzaddik. What do you want tomorrow will be better? Yeah. Every day you could moistify upon yourself something to take to make a, a mitzvah stronger and stronger. Anybody want to moistify? Question is, for over 3,000 years, till today, I think everybody is Tamemet. No, nobody is not Tamemet. So you need a lot of effort <laughs> to be meta metahir all this. No, in time Beis Amigdos, the more bring out, they the, the used to bring the mother when she was pregnant, an axe, and, and uh, they used to put like two axe, and between the axe, you used to put a piece of wood and bring her before even she born to Yerushalayim in a way that if it's going to be on the bottom, let's say many years ago, somebody buried something, it's a bit too much a mess, but because they're going like, a, like a, above our oil, 
so he's not Mkabal Tume. And then they're born Betare, and they stay uh, Teorim all the time. They, there wasn't Betare Metume. That's how, how they work in, uh, in Besamikdash. So there was, there was after the desert in Yerushalayim, uh, people that are not Tome Met and work in Besamikdash all the time. Oh, hello, Rabbi Morozov. Good morning, Shmulek. Yeshakayach, Yeshakayach Godel. Oh, yeah, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Rabbi. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Baruch Hashem. Okay, Chaz de Hashem. Chaz de Hashem. I just want to say one word before we start. Sure. I was reading the Mare Mekemas for the Shilas. Yeah. So one of them, he says, a man has to go to Mikveh or not. Yeah. So I used to hear from my father many times. He says, for a man, a Mikveh is, is not a Mitzvah. But what a Mikveh could do from a Goy to a Yid and from a Nida to a Kosher, could you imagine when you, before you go into Daven, you're going to the Tekan kind of Mikveh? Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. They say from the uh, from Reb Adam Mikarlin that he said that tefillah is not a mitzvah to say, but it could do more than all the mitzvahs. It's uh, it reminds me of the Maimah they say from the Bashemtiv that the Bashemtiv says that uh, the Bashemtiv said that uh, that simcha and atzvus that simcha is not a mitzvah. And Atsus is not an Aveda, but Simcha could bring you to the greatest heights, and Atsus could bring you to the biggest low. And Takazoi, the Rebbe brings in a Sikha that they say about the Arizal, that all the Givaldic and Milos that he had, the Arizal was in the schus of the Simcha, Simcha Shal Mitzvah. The Arizal came to where he to become an Ari, the Arizal because of Simcha. And leader for the, uh, for the Vashem that was brought in the, in the, um, it's brought in many places from Rabbi Sainu Sainu, but you can find it in Kesel Shem Tev Simon Eishu Test that it says that Zocha Bachola Oiris Hakol from going to the mikvah. A Hakol from Tfilus Be Mikvah. So it's interesting that two that the Bashem Tev was Oichet to his to his uh, to his unbelievable godless through mikvah and that is all through Simcha and Taka. There's these two sayings. One is that, uh, that the Simcha will bring you to the greatest heights and Atzus will bring you to the greatest lows. And the other one is that uh, Mikveh, that uh, even though Mikveh is, uh, is not a mitzvah, it'll bring you to all the, to, 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 to mamash, it's the highest thing from Rebar and Nagodl of Karlin. Okay. Uh, since we have the modern mechanics in the order of the Hagoimel being first, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll do the, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the Hagoimel first. So uh, the question is, uh, the, it was asked this Shabbos in Shul. Someone said that he, he had uh, in the second minion, we're having now two minion in the second minion, someone asked that he had, uh, he had, uh, he had uh, this terrible, uh, this terrible uh, infection, this terrible thing, the coronavirus. And he had the virus and Baruch Hashem, he survived and he's good. He wants to make the Baruch HaGoyim. So I asked that he should have everyone in mind, and I announced that uh, that uh, that anyone that had it lemechza l'shlisha and uh, is mesupik if he can make the brach on his own, they should uh, that the person is going to have them in mind, and everyone should say amen. Taka, everyone said amen v'kavona, and a lot of people had it lemechza l'shlisha l'revia. Um, even those that didn't have it, you don't know if you really had it. You didn't have it. It's. Uh, a lot of people felt sick for a day or two or a week, and they didn't know, they didn't bother going and get tested. So we spoke last week about, you know, what's the, the machloikas, the Ashkenazim, the Svardim, is it have to be life-threatening, life-threatening, the Pshara da al Terebe, like the Taz, that if a person was in bed three days, even in bed three, what's the Pshara was in bed three days, bed-ridden for three days. And I, I went out to the bathroom, I went to Davin Shachas and I was in quarantine, okay, I couldn't walk much, but... Uh, so, 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 so some people have misupik, so therefore I said that one person should say, I think the same thing should happen in the first minion, in Beis Menachem Endel. If there's someone that knows that he needs to make a goimel, Befrat, if it was for a chaylas, chaylash and esrapa, Befrat, if it was for that, they should make a goimel and have everyone in mind, someone should announce that the person can make now a goimel, anyone that had the, the coronavirus, that he should uh, now um, why am I saying Dafka uh, if he had the coronavirus? 
or if he had any machla, because the Rebbe Kiva Eger brings a shak of Atalia, Simarei Shutes, if you can go, like, if a one person could make up, the Gemara says, that the Chol Rebbe Hud, Olo Chonon Bagdas, Avera Bonon, Levakrit, that the beginning of the ninth Pedic and Brochus, they came to visit him. And they said, Brich Rechmon, the Avlon, Velay Avachla Afrit. The Ebishter, thank the Ebishter that he gave it to us, then the Nat Chas Vashom that you passed away, that you went to the dust. And he said, oh, you appointed me from saying the Brach HaGoymel. The one says, he said, Amen, I'll shock the tie, what do you have to say? Amen, so anyway, Shemei HaKoyin, I'm not going to get Amen, it's Amen. But uh, be it as it may, over there in the Gemara was that uh, they were all happy about the Choylush and Israp. How about if it was, uh, it was uh, Yotzim, one person was Yotzim Meis Asurim and the other guy was Choylush and Israp. Could one be Yotzim from the other? So he has a shock of the if yes, why should, why should you say not? It's a carbon toid, a carbon toid is a carbon toid. What's the difference? It was not too different. All Arabic Tzirichim Loides are the same. But um, it could be you say if you say if it's a Shevach very dot to the Abish that is, we'll talk about this soon. So it's a different type of Shevach. But anyway, if there is someone that needs to make for any Choylush and Israpa, that would be the best. Otherwise, any type of Agoimel. Uh, so the one person should make it loud, and the fetish have a mind to be mighty everyone, and everyone should say amen the kavona gedoyla. Obviously, we need to make one sec when the mitzvah shema things will get better. We need to make a kiddush, a kiddush rabbi to thank the rabbanu shalom for all his chasadim and nisim to us, and the, everyone, everyone, the li yoytsam and aklal needs to give an extra tzedaka, like Gemara says about Rabbi Shimon Bar when his life was saved. He said, "Ika madil tekunim b'mosnos." Is something I can be metaken. And again, everyone believe Yoytzim and Aklal should do something special. What special could we do? The uh, Shimon uh, the Gemara says in Shabbos, the Gimel, that he meant and he was Matar, the city of Tveria. The Gemara doesn't say the city of Tveria, but the Mephoshim say he was Matar, the city of Tveria. The Gemara tells us the whole story. Matar is at Meim. Is, uh, how can me and you go be Matar at Meim? Are we going to be Matar, the city of Tveria? But there's around us, there's a, a lot of, there's a lot of uh, tahara, and we could go be makar of another yid, and uh, therefore every one of us, Baruch Hashem, that was that uh, we lived through this uh, pandemic, that we have to do ike madle tikkunim mimosa, we have to do something. And then another nekud is that the Alta Rebbe brings the at the end of Semen Aleph, that uh, now that we don't have the Korban Toida, that uh, the saying, it in the place of the carbon toida. Every one of us, uh, it's it's a small thing, but you forget it's very important to open up a chumish to parshas tzav and the email toida carbonate to say those psukim. It's not much. You just say those psukim. As shakl if you have to stand when you say it, it's a machloik is madurakama madurabasra. It's so few psukim that if you want, you could stand also. But the maskona dal terebe in the madurabasra says you could sit also. But uh, but so these are so to summarize. Coming out of this pandemic, the Abish will help from we shouldn't know of a second wave and a third wave. There's like a whole pilpul what's going on now. Is that considered the second wave or not the second wave? Like, I don't understand. What's the Nafkamina? Can you tell me? Like in Lomdus, there's, you know, there's no Lomdus without an Nafkamina. Tell me, Lomdus. What's an Nafkamina? If there's no Nafkamina, it's not a Lomdus. Like, what Nafkamina, if what's happening now is the second wave or it's the end of the first wave? Kilu, there can't be a third wave. So, if we're going to pass, can. <laughs> Russia, people are wasting time. People are, um, I think Baruch Hashem, that everyone that's with us right now figured out long ago that it's Kadai to disconnect from uh, from all media and not to not to, not to waste any time in Dibri Shtuz Vehevel. Whatever is happening, what's Nagei, what's happening? What we have to know is that Eden is Mishvili Nibra Oilam and the way we're going to get rid of the pandemic is by being Mechazek, the Indian of Limudat Torah and Kiyom HaMitzvahs. So, I mean, that's why we're all together now on a Sunday morning here. So, uh, to summarize, bottom line, uh, if, if you have a suffolk, if you, uh, if you are chayiv to make a goymel, if you have a suffolk, if you're chayiv to make a goymel, so we should have, every shul should have, and every minion should have someone that says a goymel, if he was for in his rapa. And everyone, he should be have in mind that they should be yotz, and they should have in mind that they're being yotz, and they should say amen with kavona tzuma. And the second thing is to make a kiddush rabbe mitzvah shem when this is over to thank the rabbanu shlolem. And the third thing is to give tzedakah. And the fourth thing is to make karavni. And the fifth thing is that the Alter Rebbe brings in shulchan aruch, and the poets can bring this to say 
the psukim from Korban Toid. Because Agormal is connected to Korban Toid. That they say, like we say in Kuf Zayin and Tehillim. That there's two parts that they bring a Korban Toid and they thank the Ebeshter, which is the Bebroch of Agormal. Okay. Uh, this is the Maskona, really. Uh, now we'll do the Pilpul part of it. <laughs> Uh, the Amos is that there is a story, there's a beautiful story from uh, Rebbe Akiva Eger. If you have copies of, that I sent, you have the, this one copy that's Negeya. Uh, there's a story, basically, that uh, a book, and I mentioned this in the Fabrengen Sunday nights. So uh, even though, um, so I won't repeat it. Anyone that was there at the Fabrengen, if you weren't there at the Fabrengen Sunday night, that's uh, posted on YouTube. Uh, the unbelievable thing that uh, the that Chassam Sefer sat and wrote down a whole book, Sefer Hazikonon, the Nisim and the flaws that the Ebeshter made for his Kehila. So um, it's it's remarkable to see how Gedoli Yisrael take everything is like Beis Reishis, Bereishis, Bishvil Yisrael, Bishvil Atoyd, everything that happens for Yidin. The the Napoleon, uh, this was uh, was 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 conquering Europe. And uh, and uh, and the city of the Chassam Sefer was under fire. And he describes how uh, uh, so this this the it, several years that they were uh, so this is eighteen eighteen nine eighteen ten eighteen eleven and the, the city of the, and he describes Befrat uh, two two years of of, of Turmoil, Befrat, he describes once when all the Eden were Masasa from the Beis HaKnesses, and a bomb fell, and it was outside the door, and the doors didn't even get scratched, no Yid got hurt. So, but it's interesting that uh, he writes that before the, the, the troubles happened, he already had bad dreams, and therefore he started to have, give droshes, that Yidin should be misoyer betshuva. So we, we see from this, like we spoke about this on Sunday, how a Yid's attitude is to anything that happens in the world. A Yid says, Bishvili nivra oilam, like, a, a, like a, similar to what Yoyna said in, in the ship. Think about this. Yoyna says, Bishili hasar azeh. A Yid has to understand and feel, Bishili hasar. doesn't matter what Dr. Fauci says, Shmauchi says, what the president says. What the Europeans say, what the Chinese say, what commentators wasting their time on the news media saying, Bishvili nivra oilam. And therefore, it's to, that I should be misoder in a stronger, in a stronger davening, and I should be misoder in more Yiddish and I should be misoder in Malumada Torah. And that's it. And that's the way you see the early Israel. And this was the attitude that Sam Saifa had. And he said that we saw Pilip Loim, the Dafka, the Eden were saved. And uh, we spoke about Sunday, besides one Yid that went against Chassam Sofer. We won't get, we'll go into that right now. And uh, he said that, uh, and, and Yidin, a lot of Yidin lost all their business in the time of, of, of this unrest. And he said that, you know, that we saw people deploy that many of the Yidin, that, uh, that the Nebuch, that they lost all their fortune in a short time, regained it and rebuilt their houses. It was... And he says the old Nisim was in the schools of this oil is true that the Eden had. So he writes at the end of the Sefer Zikor and he writes, Not a girl, 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 a in the case of the Chassam Saif, it's not Petterburg. If you see the Friedrich Rebbe write Pei Beis, you know it's Petterburg. And you see the Chassam Saif write Pei Beis, you know it's Presburg. Shahoya Imi, on Acharai, Belosh and Abbe, Mishig Malonu, Koltoi, Vachay Nasa, Gambetoy, Kilo Kedisha, De Arab, Raved, Remordchai, Tosk, Neda Yohe. Why did you never hear from the Mordechai Tosk? So look in the bottom, a whole story about who uh, this was, a very Choshevedov. That uh, some server relied on his psak that he did so too. So I also did the same thing. So in the order, you see the whole story about who he was. But uh, when he, pa he passed away, very old. So uh, so when they before he passed away, they asked him, "And what schus he lived such to be so to to live such a good life and uh, have such a lucid mind to such as last day?" So he writes. Uh, so he writes. Uh, 
It's interesting. Read it. Read it on your own. It's, it's, it's very interesting. Very. It's uh, fascinating. And you read the story here on the in the Haora. Okay, so the bottom line is that uh, we see here, we see here that the Samsoifa Dafke made a a grant. In other words, each person could have made a goyim on their own. There's no suffolk here. There's no shayla. Every person could have made a goyim on their own. But Samsoifa felt it was more kedai. They should make one on goyim that everyone should say amen. So I saw a article. I mentioned last week this on the Shulna article uh, about uh, that someone sent an email. Um, and uh, his name is uh, Yaakov Shlema Moses. And he writes that um, we find that uh, we find that the Alter Rebbe also writes in Simon Reishud Gimel that, uh, that it's a Kedai to do it this way because of Reuven Am Hadras Melech. Okay, so Lani is Daiti. I looked in the Alter Rebbe and I didn't find that the Alter Rebbe should say so. And Fakert, I think the Alter Rebbe holds Fakert. So therefore, it's Kedai to give a look. Um, it, it's Negea, it's Negea to this question. In a lot of Hasidish, uh, in a lot of Hasidish, uh, uh, in a, I don't want to say Hasidish courts, because it's, it's like a Sagoish uh, expression, Hasidish courts. Chatsirot Hasidiot. Um, but a lot of Hasidish, or Hasidish Hoif, uh, you know, the Maskilim, I think, uh, made these terms, Hasidish Hoif. Um, in a lot of Hasidish courts, uh, but a lot of Chassidah Sherebis say they come, they come a thousand Chassidim come. So one person goes up and he said the Baruch HaGoymel because they all travel for all year day yom. Uh, so the one person makes the Baruch HaGoymel, everyone says Amen. Other places are not that that way. I had here Oirach Shabbos that uh, he did. <clears throat> so Oirach from Eretz So I asked him, he said, by Sfaradim Taka, the Noig, one person makes the Baruch HaGoymel, everyone says Amen. Like Kamid Yeshiva. So Lutzvah Yeshiva's uh, boys come back from Eretz Yisrael to America or from America to Eretz Yisrael. Everyone makes their own agoyma. So you see that there is different. Some uh, some make dafke or medayik. Reiv Am Hadras Melech. One person should make. And seven seventy. If you noticed, when the Chassidim came to the Rebbe, I, I I would love to know if there is. Uh, I didn't get a chance to ask or to find out if this take is uh, a mahalach here or psaktim from Rabboni Chabad. But I'm just what I've seen, the in 770, is that uh, that when the Orchim come for the Rebbe, that everyone makes their own agon. Uh, they they they're not necessarily oil to say for Torah. That's a cream on the uh, on the cake. If you can be oil to Torah and get an aliyah, would that say agon? Well, it's an extra. The ikkud is that it needs to be a minion. Shulchan Aruch says the minion gets to do it b'shas kriyas a Torah. I remember so, when I was um, and on Monday and Tuesday, we used to go to Daven by the Rebbe Minyan. Mary Raleigh gives a standard and says, All the Orchim, please do not say agreement because you're wasting the Rebbe time. Only a few Zikna Nash are given permission. That's it. Right. But those few Zikna Nash made separately. They didn't have one person making and everyone saying Amen. Right. That wouldn't have wasted any of the Rebbe's time. Right. So you could say, you know, there's the famous thing that the Rebbe Rashab Tsikhnush Gemish the Menhogim Malobavich. So if there was a minig happening in the town of Lubavitch, Shkenaya, you know, they just found the cemetery in Lubavitch at 600 years old. That means 400 years before Chabad came to Lubavitch. And then when you do that, that there were Kedoshim that were buried there, G'doy Le'olam, Tzadikim Nistarim, but nothing to do with Chabad. Lubavitch was a town before Chabad came. And they had, uh, like many Yiddish Shtetlach, they had, they had their own menhagim, v'chulu, the Rebbe Rashab didn't give us that. It's not, uh, it was not against Halacha Befrat, so uh, the fact that the Rebbe didn't say anything, uh, maybe the Rebbe didn't have an opinion about this. Uh, this Nishkin is not a raya behechlet, but afu b'shein raya l'dov ezechlet The fact is that uh, in, in 770, all the years, of what they didn't know at this minute that one person should get up and say, Agoymol, everyone should say, Amin. Halay doverhu. Some of those people that were making Agoymol were very choshev at Abonim. Ge'oynei oylam. Ge'oynei oylam that used to come to the Rebbe. So, uh, so how come one of them didn't have to say, "Oh, there's a milam, right? I'm this melech." One of us should say, "Hagoyim." Well, will say, "Amen, machaya." And then the Prebbe's presence, so well, you don't need to make, like, make announcements in Garnish. Saraya, uh, Shmami, no. It seems to me that there is that you could that there is a shail on this. 
there's a smarter to say that there's a mile that one person should say and everyone should say Amen. And there's a big smarter to say Paket that there's a mile that everyone should say their own Birchus Hagoyma. And this is what I, ex- I would like to examine right now. What's, what's better? Is that one person should make a Goymel and everyone should say Amen? Or everyone should make their own? Basically, it comes down to this. When one person makes a Goymel, everyone says Amen. There's a mile of Roy Ma'am Hadras Melech. It's a cover to the Rabbana Shavala. When every person makes their own Goymel, the mile is Mitzvah Bo Yosem Bishluchai. So how, how are you going to be, how are you going to, when you weigh these two things, how are you going to figure out what to do? So that's what I would like to look together. I sent to you Mara Mekoymus. I sent to Mara Mekoymus. As Hashem is born, hopefully I'll get my computer, my new computer over here, the new Eitzah Chachma straightened out. I'll figure out how to, uh, how to get everything and go back to the old, uh, more neat Mara Mekoymus. But the Vaila, and in a way there's a Maila. You see the, the, Oasis Machimas from the way uh, it's originally in the in the original swarm where I'm sending you the pictures of it. So uh, it's similar Eshur Gimel, which is the second copy that I sent after the copy of the uh, story from the Chassam Seifer. Sivav, which is this tshuva that someone sent out. They say, oh, the Alter Rebbe holds that one person should make for everyone. So I told you there's uh, there's no there's no such Alter Rebbe. It's Matzayin Tzimur Eshur Gimel Sivav. So let's look inside here. The Alter Rebbe writes like this. If, if they're, they're together, they have a, a din called kvius, and therefore one person makes a moitzi and everyone says amen and the yoitza, or it's a mitzvah that one makes that, 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 it's, 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 that they're doing together, so better that the brach should be said by one person. Dafke, dafke one person, because the pasuk says Reva Madas Melach. Ava birchat sa mitzvah zem kolach da isa mitzvah fneatz mai. If it's a mitzvah, which everyone is doing his own mitzvah, after kula mitzvah, after kula mitzvah, aches kagon shkolach and sata betalus, they're doing the same mitzvah. Ten people are putting on a ta- uh, tzitzis. I'm sorry, sata betzitzis. Oy leivish tefillin. Ten people putting on tefillin. Rishus beyodim. Mrotz echad mevarach lokulim kedei lakayim bereivam. Mrotz akol echad mevarach liyatzim. My tefillin, your tefillin is a separate fair fair tefillin. By kviyas dachila, the Alter will explain. We're one suda. All ten people are one. But when it comes to putting on tefillin, even though ten people are putting on tefillin, but your tefillin is your tefillin, my tefillin is my tefillin, and even though kol yisrael arevim zebaze, but still your tefillin is your tefillin, my tefillin is my tefillin. So we have, a, it, it's, it's, a, it, the, the Dover doesn't have the Achra, there's a mile in each way. Why would everyone want to make their own brach? The Altair says in the brackets, there's a mile, there's a mile that you can make your own brach. There's a mile, there's a mile that you should do your own brach. Because it says, just like there is the, just like the Ramam says, just like the Ramam says, but the the same for the same thing, there is a mile to be married by brachas at tzrichas. Taka when a person's misupik, he doesn't do it. Suffer brachas local, that's why we pass him. Like the Rishayim, we all suffer brachas local. Kol apoyl, when you could say a bracha, you must say it because it's a mile to be married by brachas at tzrichas. Avshe shemek oina. No, it's not neutral. The more brachas, the better off you are. It's like this, the fact that Chazal made a bichas hazimun and Chazal shatz is separate, but b'derek um, lal, uh, there's a milah that everyone should make their own brachas. The bimar be brachas atzrichas, and when the other person making the brach, even though shemei koina, but it's for it. You're doing it through a shliach. Moshen kam bebichzanen and shakulam kuin yachel shem nashem kum dofech and then alachein dalem a brachah kashpash kashem zemek of samazayin. If they're eating a suda, for example, they're considered like one body. Okay, 
אחר שאז נס כאילו לא יניקו כלל, כמו שאני כוסר בסימן קופצה דגימו. אב שכובע עצמי סתם נס בגוף אחד, ואין מה אלו, כל כך בלי בברוכס. ואף שאם זה איסר ברוכס שאני צריך, wouldn't be if, if ten people or five people eating a bread and each one makes a bracha, it's not a bracha shenet zirich, like kumish kol aichet chai le bracha zot, gamach shesh shem lo koinah, mekom akitim shem mai le bribe a bracha zot. So then, sort of shivorech echel lakayim breva. It's like very complicated sugi, like where you balance out. When they sat down to eat together, because Chazal considered when you eat, the frat when you eat pas, if you're not eating pas, it's complicated. But, um, so, uh, But when you're eating a suda, so the kvius, whenever there's a kvius, it's considered like all, all, all five people, all ten people are one. So therefore, they're allowed to have one brach. If each one will make their own brach, it's not a brach shenet tzricha. But the problem is that now that you're losing the mile of brevam. You're losing the mile of brevam. So then there's a mile of brevam. But if you're not kavua yachad, if you're not kavua yachad, so then even though one person can make the brach and everyone's yotza, then it's more, more the my love, Yarba, Baruchas, and Tzirichas. Our minig l'poil is that everyone makes their own amoyts, even when we're kaveh v'yachad, because we sit down al das, that we're not kaveh v'yachad. We once have had a shir about this, and uh, we spoke about this, that, there's, uh, that there was a letter from the Rebbe that explains the reason for our minig is, the problem is people today have very little attention span. They can't even pay attention to someone else for 30 seconds. The fact that the oil of Beis Menachem Mendel that mazitz them and you guys are listening to me for hours on end, is, I don't know, that uh, defies logic. It's Lamayla Medera Chateva Lagamri. But Sataka uh, Zohi, it's, uh, but uh, the average person today is not, have no attention span. Kenzach Meshtuarin. But if it's a mile, you should make, because if you, he's not going to be, the guy who's making the brach is not having a mind to be Yoytze, you, you're not having a mind to be Yoytze, you're not listening, you're not Yoytze. So therefore, it's kedai that we sit down to chatchila, not to be a kvius. But that's a yoytzim and a klal, what we're doing today. But the pashtus, the way it should have been, is if five people are sitting down, not, or even the way it's today. When five people or ten people sit down, shaloy al das kvius, like by kiddush we do, one person makes, and we, all, we have a mind to be yoytzim, we don't make our own adrafa. So when we sit down as a guf echad, over there, The, what's goiver is the mile of b'reivam hades mel. But when each one is in the individually, even though you could be yoitz from one person, over there we say is goiver the mile of lo'elam yar b'adam and brachas at tzirichas. Is this the same thing with the halal? Is this the same? Is this the same thing with the halal when you daven halal? The sh- the chazan. Yes, exactly, exactly. Right. That, 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 every person makes his own. Every person makes his own. Only there used to be a minig, it's complicated. What's really the Chabad minig in like Rish Chodesh, where it's a Suffolk, if you should make, and the Siddur says that you should hear from that, because it's a Suffolk, you should hear from the Chazim. But the Poel, the minig Chabad is to be, have a mind not to be Yotz in the Chazim and to make your own Baruch in the Havel. The Poel, that's the minig Chabad. Rabbi, uh, yeah. if you have, if you have a, uh, on your Kiddush on Shabbat, 40 people, So this I used to do. I used to wash the last. Everybody washing and sitting. I was the last one. And then I make hamotzi and give each one a slice of challah. Now this There's is the right way. There's a mile on that. There is a mile because, first of all, that's the din, really. First of all, that's mamish, the din. By Bich Sanan, when the kavua yachad, that one person should make it, because that's the mile of Bereivam. Lepol today, you see, in the Chassidah Shevel, the Chabad too, that everyone's market to make their own Kiddush. Um, at least when it comes to Kiddush by night, it makes sense. Why? Because it's a, sep- because it's a mitzvah, and it's a birchus, a mitzvah, it's not only birchus and enem, it's birchus and mitzvah, Shabbos by day, it's only birchus and enem. So then, I don't see what's the mile like Bochrim and camp, and the camp has to go and buy, spend a lot of money to buy more wine, or the yeshiva, What's the mile that everyone should make their own kiddush? And stop make the yeshiva pay for more wine. A Friday night, Taka, there is a mile, as we'll say soon, by mitzvahs. There is a certain, but for sure, what uh, Sasson said, Lagabe Amoitzi, for sure, there's a mile of Reva Madis Melech, because there's a kvius, unless they sit down and they decide we're not having a kvius yachad, we have a kvius, a mile of Reva Madis Melech. By kiddush Friday night, there are people that are makbid to have Reva Madis Melech, Dafka. And there are people that are mocked that everyone should make their own and it should be It's, it's uh, you see, there's different men in this. There's a, there's a thought to each side. Even though 
כל כך בלי באברוכס. גוד, וייטר, הוא הדין, נקסט פייג', הוא ביחס המצווה, כשכולם מקיים המצווה ביחד, גון שמי יש כאל שויפר. If they're all doing the same mitzvah, all are hearing 50 people in the room, but they're all hearing the same shofar. So it's kedai that the chazan should make the brocha and everyone should say amen. Oy megila, she mitzvah she'echem mevarech l'kulam. Geng tekeo, oy akoyre b'nechem, and Hashem, v'chem yosher b'sukah achas. That one person should make the brocha. That also, one person should make the brocha. L'poel, I don't see it should be that way by sukah. I don't know why. But L'poel, the minig is that by shofar, the, the, the shlich tzibur makes it. or the, I mean, the, uh, the Baltikeya makes it, and by the Megillah, the Balkhoida makes it, and by Sukkah, I see the Menech Chabad is that everyone makes their own Lashem by Sukkah, it's Taka Pelu. Avali Merotz Lokayim Kolech the Mitzvah Bifnei Atzmai, or Lavorach Laatzman, if the, every person says, I'm going to do the Mitzvah on my own, I make the Baruch on my own, go and share Korach Kolech the Megillah Laatzman, ain't Shem Ashara, there isn't 10 people, or Shehit Kala Atzman, Mekom Akim Toiv Shehikra Echel Lokulam Mubim, better, that they do the Megillah, uh, 10 people, can't obligate him to do it through a shliach. By Kiddush Avdola, it's the same thing. So you see, it's so complicated. It's so complicated. It's like always weighing up the, uh, the in the one hand, there's a mile of mitzvah by Yitzvah Shluch, and lo'elu me'ar ba'adim and brachas of tzrichas. On the other hand, there's a mile of brachas of tzrichas. So it seems to be like this, that there are times where you must go alone. There are times when you must go together, and then there is the middle when it's shock. For example, when everyone is a guf echad, everyone is hearing the same Megillah. So why would you take, the Zachdam, Moira de Kemayla, Barayvam Hadas Melech, that the Baal Koyde screams out the Brocha, and everyone screams out, Oh, man! It's, a, it's like, you, you don't need too much explanation to understand how the Pasuk says, Barayvam Hadas Melech. that that's the cover to Klapi the Rebbeinu Shlolem, that everyone's making the same broch, Ba'achtus, Beroi Vam is Hadas Melech. But this is because the mitzvah is done together. Everyone's being yoyed to the same shoifer and the same Megillah. But what happens if the person says, and same in my Kiddush, they're, they're being yoyed to the same Kiddush, so why are you making your own broch? Listen to, to the Balabais making it. But what happens if the person says, I would like to have a, my own kois of wine, And I'm going to make my own Kiddush. The Baal Boss says, no, but better have a Reuv HaMadus Melech. So it uh, depends who's paying for the wine. <laughs> you can't. There's a Loshin, a lot of times, a Loshin, Yachmir La'atzm. You can't be Machmir on this guy's Cheshmer, like the Bochum, that are being uh, Mahadir and Mitzvahs in the Yeshiva's Cheshmer to pay for more wine. But I can say, say the Baal Boss is not Machmir, or the Yeshiva doesn't care. The question is, what's, what's better? So the Alter Rebbe sort of has here, like, you know, I'm not sure if you want to, there is, if you had, as it sounds like the Alter Rebbe holds, if there's 10 people there, Taka, there would have been a Mila. If there's 10 people in the room, 10 men, it would have been a Mila, there should be one person to make Kiddush Tafke. Not like the way it's done in Yeshivas by us, in Chabad. Tafke, there would have, I mean, Pasha, you're reading with me the Alter Rebbe, you see what the Alter Rebbe is saying. If there's less than 10 men in the room, Adar Rebbe, let every man make his own Kiddush, because he'll do the mitzvah on his own, But if there's 10 people in the room, then there's a Revam. Um, okay, let's put this on pause. We're almost finished here. So bottom line, you see that there is, there is you always have to weigh up the Mila. If I make my own Baruchah, it's Mitzvah by Yosem Shluchah, and Lo'elam Yarba Adam Baruchah Satsrichah. Which really, these two Nakudas go together. And on the other hand, there's a mile of Revam. So, so if you're mamish in the same parsha, we're doing the same, we're all hearing the same Megillah, so you have to do, go with the mile of Revam. If everyone is making their, if there happens to be, for whatever reason, everyone's making their own Kiddush, if everyone's making a Kiddush, they have to make their own Baruch anyway. They shouldn't make, if, 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 ten, if five people are holding a case of wine in their hand, they shouldn't be from the Balabas. If you already have a cup of hand in your hand, ready, you can make your own Kiddush. So then go with the Maila of Mitzvah Boy and Lodom Yad Ba'odim. And there are things that are in between. Okay. So now look at the other copy. There's something, one more thing I want to show you here, which is a very interesting thing. The Alter Rebbe in Simen Nunta says that uh, a, a, a Kiddush Dov, 
there is in, in the days of old where poetis al shema. Poetis al shema meant that we'd not like us that that everyone makes the birchas krishma. The the shliach tzibur the chazan used to say birchas krishma, and everyone said amen. Shemei koina, they were an extra thing to say amen. But even if you didn't say amen, you just listen to your yoyts. Anyway, the Alter Rebbe says we don't do it today. Again, people can't pay attention. It's a long bracha. They're not gonna. They're gonna. All of a sudden, they're gonna be in China. They're gonna be in Tasmania. As like I told you, the word, as they say from Tehillim, Elav Arechav, Elav Asusim, Vanachnu B'Shem Alokeinu Naske. They're going. This going with a plane. They're going with a boat. They're going with a helicopter. Vanachnu Medav Shmoneser. All of a sudden, you're in Tasmania. You're in China. You're in Chengdu. You're in Guatemala. All of a sudden, the Yitzhahara is working overtime. Overtime, the Yitzhahara lost in the Shtayid's Kavona. Doesn't let us rest for a second. So therefore, better that we should say the words. Okay. But look at the beginning of the page. al Rebbe says here an interesting thing. The Chazal said that by Birchus Krishma, you only Yoytzev does a minion. You only Yoytzev, why? So the al Rebbe explains. Because the Birchus Krishma is Birchus Shevach Vahidah. And really, when a person has to give Shevach Vedov and the Ebishter, you're supposed to give Shevach Vedov. It's better that you should give Shevach Vedov. Why should someone else make for you? Why should you send a Shliach? If you just say thank you, right? You have an option. You could, you could send a Shliach to make you. Your secretary can call up and say thank you very much for the donation. Or you could call yourself the Balabas and say thank you very much, Rebbe Yaman, for the beautiful contribution you gave for Beis Menachem Andal. Which one is better? If you're going to call yourself, it's much better. It's not stam mitzvah boy yosem mishluch. If you're giving a shevach ve'idot to someone, so the Allah is kama lakama, melech malchem lochem kodesh baruch. If you're going to give shevach ve'idot, you should give it yourself. And the Alter Rebbe says that all birchas shevach ve'idot are the same. All birchas shevach ve'idot. Therefore, the nafkumin is Alter Rebbe holds. That Lagabe, those that have the minik to say Virchas Hashach in the shul, that if you don't have a minion, you can't do it. It's a brach levatola. That all Virchas Shevach Veida, you every person has to say it himself Virchas Hashach. Elamai. If you have a minion, then you could have that uh, one person should say it and everyone should be yoitz. And even then, the Alter Rebbe says in Siman Vav that it's better that everyone should say it on their own. He says all be all be and the Alter Rebbe's mechadish all Virchas Shevach Veida are the same thing. Look at the top of the page. That every every bichas shevach veidor you're supposed to say it yourself, or if there's a minion. By the way, there's two types of bereiv am. One is there's a concept of of a minion which is called bereiv am, and sometimes there's bereiv am like 50, 60, 100 people. It's kedai to hear Megillah when there's a bigger oilam. There is a, a there is a concept of a minion which has a certain din of Rav Am. Uh, in other words, you could be yotzet bichas krishma without a minion. But there's a mile of Rav Am with a minion. Then there's a concept of Rav Am. The bigger the oilam, the better it is. Okay. So bottom line is. Bottom line is, what do we see here from the Alter Rebbe? The Alter Rebbe holds all bichas shevach veidah. It's better that you say it yourself. Elamai. When there is a minion, so there's a certain mila so that you have. So there's a certain mila. So, um, so first thing is by so 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 by birches hagoimel. So by birches hagoimel, I'm leaving it open here. I mean, it's not like inclusive in my mind that. Uh, that could be that there's a svara to say that uh, that uh, because there is an inyan that you have to give shevach vedo in your own mouth, even though the Alter Rebbe says that when there is a, a hadis melech, that there is a minion that uh, that uh, that you could do it, but it doesn't doesn't mean you should do it that way. It doesn't mean you should do it that way. Although here in the Shulchan Aruch it is mashma that you should do it that way. So it's mashma that if 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 people would have would be paying attention to Bechas Krishna, you should do it that way. But back to Bechas Agoimo, I don't know. I, 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 this is this is the thing that uh, that's a little masupic in my mind. That maybe so that's why you see that some some kahilas 
the dafka makbid that one person should say it because they feel that the that the, it's that's more kedai the roivam had this melech, and the, some have a dafka no that every person should make his own shevach veido. Again, like I'm here, it's mashma that if you do have a minion, that dafka there's a mile of beravam hades melech. But yesh la'ayin baza, yesh la'ayin baza. Anyway, in the story of the in the story of the chasam soifer, there was they were all in the same story. There was one bond that came against them, and they were all saved. So you could mamish there. There were beinian echel. So you understand why the chasam soifer made one hagoyimov for the whole kehila. Uh, but when you come to this coronavirus. It's not one bomb. Tak, it's a one pandemic that's going against the whole world. It's not exactly like the story of the Chassam Soifer. So, um, so, uh, so there is, a, the, the Indian needs a little bit birur. Is Tak, when the Birch HaGoymal, is it Tak, a, a Milo that the person says it himself? Or there's a Milo when there's already a minion, the Dafke should do it by one person listening, by, by one person saying it and everyone saying Amen. So I'm, I'm leaving it up in the air, uh, as I said, but that's all if everyone could make the bracha. But in the case, when there's a suffix, because a person doesn't know if he was, if, if first fadim is not a shayla. If a person really had COVID and he knows he has it, there's no shayla can make the bracha. But for Ashkenazim, it's a shayla, if it was life-threatening, and even according to the Pshara Dalit Rebbe says, if he's three days in the bed, he, I don't know, it was like three days, mom is stuck in the bed. So then, Kedai, that one person should say, Agoimel, and everyone should be Yitz and say, Amen. Okay, did we make a Kiddush this Shabbos? It will be, you'll be Stamos? Or it's too early to make a Kiddush? I don't know, I don't know. Whatever you guys think, whatever the Elam thinks, I think it's a, it's a... Uh, Safety-wise, I don't want to, you know, right. step on somebody's toes. Safety right, wise. right. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's good to wait. And I, I get, we, let's see during the week how things, uh, what are the Eidus Chok and Mishpatim that come out on us. Mm -hmm. But uh, if if it looks good, then maybe Taka we should make the Chabad Yud based Tamas. A special Shabbat, it's based Tamas. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next Shiloh. Uh, what was the next Shaila that we said? One second, just want to go in the order of what we wrote. Um, what was the second Shaila? Uh, oh, I went already wrong. I, the first was really the mikveh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, so let's go back to the first Shaila, the mikveh, which we started with. So, uh, As he said that the the it's brought in Kesar that the that the 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 uh, that all the milas the Baal had was all through going to the mikveh. Um, okay, for, before we go further, just want to summarize that there is uh, the birchas agaimel. Any time a person has a suffix, you could be yotze from someone else, and I think Lagabe the. The COVID that uh, that any person that has a suffix should make a goimel should be yotzer from someone else, and do all the other things that that uh, you should do when he to thank the Ebishter for coming out of this pandemic. Like I said, giving stock, be mekarav another yid, making a kiddush, and saying the psukim of a toida. Now, if a person really knows he needs to make it, so um, if there is a minion, it sounds like there's a mila, sounds like from the but there's a mila of uh, of Revan. But the first, the, the, there's the poil. I see that there is, there is a two, there is a, in Klal Yisrael, there's two men hogan, those that in general feel that it's a mila. There's a mila, that one person should make it, one say amen. And some that feel that, uh, that there's a mila, uh, not in Revam, but the mila is mitzvah and the harvest, and you can add to it, the words in the Rebbe, that you should be thanking David Shemiron. Okay. The question is about a mikveh, and the mikveh, uh, many of us couldn't go to the mikveh for many months. So uh, the shayla is, uh, you know, what, what's the, why is it so important to mikveh to begin with? So therefore, I'd like to talk about the importance of a mikveh for men. Um, the the Friedrich Kerebe has in a, in a letter, that from us, uh, that the tefillah that we go to the mikveh. Okay, before we get to the to the Friedrich Rebbe, 
I just want to read from a uh, Maimah from the Alter Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe, in the Maimah, the Tachis Lo Shaloy Abad, the Parshish Kisavi. Muridike, the thought. The Alter Rebbe says that Emma, there's a sugi in the Gemara which we're going to be learning very soon. The Avchav Chav Aleph Chav Beis in Maseches Brachos, which talks about Tvilas Ezer. That Ezer was matakim that men should go to the mikvah. Now, the Ramam says that later Bezin did a, did a survey and they realized that, uh, in, uh, that uh, this Takona never written and took root. So therefore, they were mavatlet. They were mavatlet. And they had several reasons why to be mavatlet. However, the Rif writes, that, the Rebbe Alter Rebbe brings, that, uh, that the Rif brings, pay the Gimbal the Baruchas, the Mid Rebbe Yoni also say in his name of Rebbe Haigon, the law bought the tefillah as well. Carried the divrei Torah, but the tefillah tzarech tefillah. Only the divrei Torah they were mavat the tefillah as carried, but tefillah you do need. So the Alter Rebbe Afel gave the analogy to Hamalakim b'Shulchan Aruch. We don't pass in this way. If it's a look and some and peiches and oirecha ayim, we pass in that you don't need to have tefillah b'mikvah. When you say Hashem's name, and we say that uh, the, the, that we don't need the mikvah not for divrei Torah, not for divrei tefillah. Kol makim kosev tami the Rebbeinu Yoinesh la divrei akoy la tefillah mukubelas yoisari mat tefillah. Everyone agrees, even those at all, that tefillah says as botul agami, and there's no chiyuv to go to the mikvah. Not for uh, a balkedi, not for a balkedi that wants to read Torah or to say tefillah. However. The tefillah is more makubal if you're going to go first to the mikvah. says, Why is shetake toyed and tefillah be different? The original takana was toyed and tefillah the same. So why take it? So the Al-Tarebbe goes into the whole thing of the difference of Isra Beheter and Tumah Vitar. Isra Beheter is something in the inside the Hefz. It's, it's, it's Chazet Reif, like the expression. Chazet Reif. It's in the... And then Tumah Vitar is something which is makif. Even if you touch it, you didn't ingest it. You're a person could become Tommy. And the same the mikveh goes into the mikveh. He didn't drink the water, it becomes tall. The same thing is the Indian of reyach. Reyach is makif. Oichel goes inside. Reyach is makif. Tfila is connected to the Indian of makif because tfila is the makim of karbonus and karbonus is reyach mechoyach. And I'll tell you, bring several in yonim. Uh, reyach is that's and that's why Titus that destroyed the base of mikdash. His his punishment was midas connected mida that a yatish went into his nose, and kept on. Boring and uh, and giving him pain until it killed him. It was me the kagan that he destroyed the base of Mikdash and uh, they get this. They get uh, Zoya says that Avamnuna said Tfilosi Echtemloch the Balchoytem Ani Mispa the 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 Tfilosi Echtemloch is a pasuk in Shishaya and then Zoya says Avamnuna said the Balchoytem Ani Mispa the Balchoytem Ani Mischana. So we see Tfila has to do with the union of Reach. Reach is the Dovish and Shaman and his boy Veloy Haguf. Achila is something that goes into the goof. Reach is the shaykhs to makif. That's why the Gemara says the story with Ravuna that he found a, 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 a tomato shmena that had a very good smell and he wrapped it up in a, in a handkerchief and, and he took it in his pocket and his son said, oh, he said to his father, I smell, it's a good smell. So his father, uh, this, uh, Ravuna said to his son, B'ni tahara yeshboch. So we see that someone that's sensitive to Saruchni's Dekeinyan has a sense of smell. You could, you know, sense something. You know, people that are Kudusha, they, they, you, when you come close to them, they can sense what's going on. They have a sense of Reyach. So, 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 is a Shaykh is a Dekeinyan of Reyach. Huh? Is all, I thought the Mikveh is a Makveh because he only eats it when your whole body is in the Mikveh. If you left exactly. something outside, it's not good. And so, Reyach is the idea of Makveh, and Mikveh is the Indian of Makveh. So Torah is a shaykh is the Indian of, uh, so Tfilah, because Tfilah is the Indian of Reich Nichoyach, which is the Indian of Makiv. So therefore, Tfilah is a special shaykh, shaykh is with Tumah Vitar. Therefore, Tfilah Dafka is a special shaykh is with Tumah Vitar. So therefore, as a chonah for Tfilah Dafka, a person understands B'moichi. So in order for a person to, to be able to understand the territory, he has to eat kosher foods. Chas v'shom, he will eat not kosher foods. He'll have timtum amoyach. He won't be able to understand like a moder rashi toysis. He won't be able to understand the lakuta toyra na toyra oir. But the tefila, which is the union of reyach, the union of makif, la reyach nechoyach l'ashem, la bala choytum mani mispala, la bala choytum mani mischanan. The postic says, tefilosi echtum loch, so, so there, the hachonah for that is the union of tahara, which is the mikvah, which is also the union of makif.
That's what the Alter Rebbe says. The Alter Rebbe says that this is, Alter Rebbe says that this is Ktsas Tam. Ktsas Tam. To, but Lepoel, that's what the Pais can say in the name of Rabbeinu Yoyna. That even though that, uh, that in other words, there's two shittas in the Rishayim. Some hold that Lutfila Yechayim, the others hold that you're Potter, and that's the Dinesh Yechonoruch. But they hold still there's a mile. If you want uh, uh, your Tfila, if you want the Tfila to be Mekubal, then there's a mile to be titled the Mekubal. Okay, so that's that's the halacha, the halacha part of it. The the uh, the Friedrich Rebbe brings uh, that he in a, in a letter he says that the the tefillah is not to go away from tuma. It's for tiras and nefesh. What's the gear the nakuda that the Friedrich Rebbe is saying? So then the halacha, the nafkemina, what the Friedrich Rebbe is saying, and to what the Rabbeinu Yoyin is saying. It's very simple. If you're saying that this is Tfilas Ezra, and there'll soon be another Nafkamin, and this is a beautiful thing, which I want to go into the aside. why did Ezra make his Tarkona? If you're saying that the idea of going to the Mikvah is all a, a connection to Tarkona's Ezra, so why a person wasn't Mashamish with his wife? It was Mashamish Belel Shabbos. So Shabbos morning he goes to the Mikvah. But what's the rest of the week? He doesn't have to go to the Mikvah. He wasn't Mishamish with his wife. But if you say the Vorat of the Fri the that the Ikirinian of the Bashem Tastvila was not Lutara Betuma for Taras and Efesh, so what's Nagay if he was Mishamish with his wife the night before or not? Now, I'll, before I continue, Fri the I'll bring a smuchim from the Rebbe to this. The, the, the Rebbe really says, says it the Fadish. It's a Sikhim Pashas Kisovi in Tavshin Yudimul. Where the connection of this is because in Lakuta Toyer and Pashas Kisavi, he talks about it. For Pashas, Pashas Kisavi is right before Tishri. So Tishri is a time of Tila. So that's what the Alta Rebbe talks about it in Pashas Kisavi. So the Rebbe in Asich and Pashas Kisavi also talks about the Indian of the Mikvah. He brings over there from Tavonas and Mikvah from the Bashemtiv that's in the Siddur in Dach, the Alta Rebbe Siddur. He says a uh, very interesting Loshan. He says that Tila. Is uh, a person has to just like uh, that that uh, klicheres is shviros and itakoyin awesome is when a person goes to be he has to he has to have a leiv nishbor and a mele that's going to break the goof the goof is shviros and itakoyin awesome interesting now there was a pupil in these words what did the balshem to mean either he meant that the takon of the neshama is when a yid breaks his goof so the mele the goof is not disturbing. And that's taka the word of tefillah always is bitul. A person loses his goof and just like a fish is in the water, a fish doesn't feel his own identity. A person's table in the water as if his goof doesn't exist. His goof is like broken. Again, the koyz goof. And now the neshama is going to be able to shine when he comes out of the mikvah. Second shot the, 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 the Rebbe says is that you can say shvirus and zuit tekanosin that the takana of the the, the the pieces of cheres itself after they're broken they become tara. The atoma and you break the cheres, the pieces of cheres itself become tara. Just like the uh, the Alta Rebbe brings that there is uh, the story of the Zayn and the Ben Amelech, that uh, the Zayn tries to, to get the Ben Amelech to do an Aveda, but uh, the Melech is not happy if his son does an Aveda. He wants to see if his son is, uh, is a good kid or not, if he has moral integrity or not. Uh, he wants to know, uh, <laughs> you know, if his son is fit to be a king uh, or if it's, or not. So he wants to test it by, he sends a Zayna to try to convince the son to do an Aveda. If the son does an Aveda, he pays the Zayna for Shtetzach. The Zayna gets paid for her job. But uh, when would the Zayna, uh, if, she, if the, if the Ben Amalek is not going to do the Aveda, he's still going to pay the Zayna. He's going to pay her more. He's going to be more happy. It's the same thing here. When Ayid is Matzliach to, to do his Kafya, is the Stalik, he called it, called so the goof itself, when Ayid breaks his goof and does the Ratzna Kaddish Baruch Hu, it's not a shot that the goof loses out of it. Just like the Zayna that didn't succeed in being marshal, the Mena Melech, that the Zayna itself gains out of it. The Zayna doesn't lose. Fashtetzach, she gets paid. The Melech gave her a job. What's the difference? But, uh, but she did her job. But if the Mena Melech, she doesn't seduce the Mena Melech, the Melech is simcha gedoyla. He gives her a bigger reward. Same thing in the goof of the Yid. When a Yid does this kafya, the goof uh, gains out of it. I'm sorry I digressed a little bit, but back to the Indian of the Mikvah. 
So um, the Rebbe says a moira de kavort. He says there's the Bashem Tev said that he was massive all his milas to going to the mikvah. The Rebbe says that double posture to him that they we're not talking about Tvilas Ezer. Michael Ashmalon, do you think the Bashem Tev that all his big asagas he got because whenever we, he did the mitzvah of Takonas Ezer, that is they did it and the Bashem Tev did it and every from the Yid that does it. Does he give the mile of the Bashem Tev? The Muslim is arguing the mile of the Bashem was not that he tefillas Ezer was was tefillim was uh, extra tefillim mikodesh lekodesh just like we find the kohen gadol if he became tamei with akedi there would be uh, the second kohen gadol would take over but still even though he didn't have tumas kedi he would be tefillah five times why because in kedusha kufa there's going higher and higher it's the same thing about the Bashem so it wasn't the Indian in takonas Ezer it was a totally different thing. But if you're saying it's not the Kornas Ezer for me and you, okay, so uh, we're not, we're not Kedusha le Kedusha. So you could say it's Metuma le Tahara. And for the Bashem Tev is Metahara le Tahara. It's all the same thing. It's not the Kornas Ezer. Kornas Ezer is only if a person was with his wife, his Meshamash, the next morning he's going to go. But uh, if, if, if it's Metzad, Ali and Kedusha, Metuma le Tahara, Metahara le Tahara, then it's a to- nothing to do with... I think it's a dover poshut. That's why Bechidim those they went every day before Tvila and Erev Shabbos and Erev Yom Tev before going to Tzina Kodesh Rukulu. It not to do with Takonas Ezra. There's two things. There's Takonas Ezra, which if you're doing it's a Takonas Ezra, it's only when a person was Mesham Nishmitosoy. And then there is going Mekoydish Mechoy Lekoydish or Mekoydish Lekoydish. And then even if it was not Mesham Nishmitosoy. So now let's go understand the words of the Friedrich Rebbe. When he says that the mikveh is for Tara Sanefesh, not for going away from Tuma to Tahara, but Tara Sanefesh. So he says three stories. He said there was one story, there was a Talmud of Agon, Reb Shachna, the Rebbe Reb Shachna in, in Lublin, which is the Rebbe many Gdol Yisrael, he was the Rebbe that I think. So other young people are older to, to the cave of the Rebbe Reb Shachn. So Reb Shachn or Reb Lin, um, he had a Talmud who was a gone, but he used to, had a problem with his learning. Sometimes he used to forget things that he learned, or in the middle of learning, be you and God, he used to get he used to get like totally disturbed. And he went to the Rebbe, and the Rebbe told him, "I say you should be very makbid to be toivel every day in the mikvah." And that taka after that his learning went gishmiut. Second story is the, there was a, in, the, in the days of the Marama Padva, in Padua there was a Gvir, and there were Makubalim there that wanted to establish a mikveh for men. And this Gvir said, no, 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 we don't need a mikveh. Who needs a mikveh for men? Men don't need a mikveh. There's, a, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no day in that men need. A short time later, in Nachman al he got very sick, and he lost his entire zikon. Today, they would, they'd say, oh, again, they got Alzheimer's again, they send them, uh, send them away. But uh, they brought him to Maram Padva. The Maram Padva said to bring him to Karaka, to Karaka, to uh, Rabbi Leo Balshem. Rabbi Leo Balshem said that this was a Einish, that uh, he held back the Mekubalim from, uh, from building a mikveh, that he should make himself, that he himself would go to mikveh and build the mikveh, and he'll be healed. The Kachava, he was healed. And a third story that the Friedrich Rebbe brings that in the day of Maral, days of Maral Prague, there was a Psaish Poshut. And people notice he was a very kind person. And if he needed uh, so a little loan to be uh, a to do a little business, he would give he would give out loans. It was not the psagvir, but uh, you can get it from him a couple of dollars to, for a few days. Uh, a few soichanim realized that Varpella, that whenever they took a loan from this guy, the business is going in Gorandish. The business is going So People would line up to get their loans. Kilo, they needed a loan, but they really didn't need a loan. But they wanted to have a tzloch in the business. It became it became like a thing that uh, people were that were in the inn. They knew that you get a from this guy, you get a loan, and uh, you'll be matzliach in your business. The day you take a loan from him, you you be matzliach whatever you do with the money. However you invest the money, that money is going to go good. The Baral heard about it and he uh, wanted to find out. But also, he knew this person is not from the Tzaddikim Nistarim. So, well, what's the story? And the Maral f- figured out that the, my, that the person was very makbid to be toivel in the mikveh every day. The Maral figured out that that was the Indian because he was makbid to go to Tfila. So, therefore, from that was his koyach. 
And that was acquired from this, from the tefillah. So when Friedrich Rebbe says from these three stories, we see that the chashivah of tefillah is not just going me tahara, from Tumor to Tahara, but in Taras and Efesh. So if we should summarize, there's three things in going to the Mecca. There is Tfilas Ezra, which is, oh, really two things. There's Tfilas Ezra, which is going from Tumor to Tahara. And then there is, not Tfilas Ezra, nothing to do with Ezra, but within that itself, there is, you know, for me and you, which we're, you know, going from Choyl to Koydish. And then there is, like the Bashem Tov goes, Me Koydish Le Koydish. So, um, so uh, there was a Choshev in the, he called himself the Helmet Sarebbe. He lived in Williamsburg. He, wrote, he was very involved in, in uh, building mikvahs. He wrote letters, you find the Negris Moshe letters to him. He was, he was an interesting fellow, let's say this. And, uh, and he wrote his for him and he sent it and he asked for him, what's his from everyone, like in the beginning of the Sefer, you have like 20 pages from every, if you, if you open the Pabbas Madish and you, you wrote uh, uh, the, uh, the Avenue J. Deb, he'll come to you for us coming. I'm kidding. But that's the way it looks like, in the, you know. So he asked for the Rebbe for Mikhtav uh, Amotza, he gave it the Rebbe Sefer. He wrote like the 40 Swanim, like 20 Swanim and Mikvahs and 20 on the Indian of Tvila of going to the Mikvah, for men going to the Mikvah. It's funny, like he quotes the Mishnah and the Rashi and the Toysavis, and then he has an artist in the bottom. He, he worked really hard to fill up the pages. But, uh, but he was a very Chosh of Eid, very Chosh of Eid, And uh, here there's a, a letter from the Rebbe. So uh, it's dated Gimel Thomas Tov Shalom at Beis. And uh, at Afghan, I'm, I'm learning now Tov Shalom at Beis. So I'm going through, so on Gimel Thomas, Dafka, that year, the Rebbe sent out like a dozen letters, very Gishmaka letters. So, uh, so uh, I'm, 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 it's my say that I So it's a beautiful uh, chidush that the Rebbe has there. It's a beautiful, beautiful chidush. So in his sefer, in the, in this op, in the, in the first two pages of the sefer, Chelek Tezayin, which is all about the importance of the man having mikveh. He was very, he was a mikveh man. He was, he was, he was a big thing. He traveled all over America and he made mikvahs. That ever writes him a beautiful letter, that uh, that uh, they, that uh, unbelievable avodas hakodesh to be the shtadlus to be mar betaras bnei yisrael through uh, mikvahs. You got the mitzvah tamin. You know the Rebbe gives him unbelievable brachas. And then the Rebbe writes, "I'm sorry, I don't minik beis harav is not to write as kamas for svarim." But Kilu, the Rebbe says, I want to prove to you that I read your Sefer, so I'll, I'll, I'll you know, Akasha that you, that you wrote, and uh, an answer that, uh, that you could possibly give. So uh, the Rebbe writes here, if you have, you have here, Zat and Eskabal Sifrei Torres Yom Tov, Chelek Tezayim, V'chuas Chen, Chuas Chem, and Yonah Deyom, and Mashkosom, Tchilas HaSefer, V'astirim, and Mogan Avram, Simen Tov Reish Vov, the Tfilas Erevim Kippur Mishum Keri Gam Beroi Maim Chalukim La Magen Avram The Ain Tfilas Ezer Beroi Maim Chaluk. The Magen Avram is similar in Peiches, which is the, where the Shulchan Aruch says that you put it from doing Tfilas Ezer, but it's a mile if you do it like as we said, it was a mile if you do it before davening. The Magen Avram says that's only a person that sees Keri, but there's a concept of Maim Chalukim that there's a little bit of Keri, but not that he slept with his wife, but it happens when he when he when he goes to the bathroom. For Meir Aglaim, there is a little bit of uh, carry inside. So the Magamram says over there, there was no takon of, of, uh, of Tfilah Sezer. But Lagabe Erevim Kippur, the, the, he writes, if he went to the Mikvah, and afterwards he sees Maim Chalukim, they should go a second time to the Mikvah. So he said, what's the difference? So then this is, a lot of the Mephoshim ask this question. The Mephoshim say that the, uh, the answer is simple. The answer is because Yom Kippur is more chum. But in this guy in his Sefer, he... He doesn't like the test. The Gemara says in Baruchas that when the sugi that we're going to learn in Metzusham uh, about uh, about, uh, about uh, mikvahs uh, and the the whole takana of takanas Ezra. So the, the Gemara says that um, the Gemara says Azoi. Um,
We don't hear you, Rabbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, one second. One second. Let me look it up in a safer which Gemara he's quoting. One second. I didn't send it out in the Mara Mekoymus. So uh, bear with me a moment. He says like this. That, um, oh, here it is. So he says, as I, that there's the Gemara that Chavbezim at base. And Rabbi Yeshua Malevi said, Mativ and Shell Toy He says, What are these people that are going to the mikvah? I don't understand. Why are they running to the mikvah? Rabbi Yeshua Malevi said, Why are these people running to the mikvah? So the Gemara says, What do you mean, why are the people running to the mikvah? <laughs> you don't know? You never heard of the, the Takona? You never heard of the Takona of, uh, of Ezra that you have to go to the mikvah? I don't understand. What was your question, Mativ and uh, that uh, what's what's what are the people running to the mikvah? Mativ and Shetayv l'shachin. You didn't you, you never you, you don't know about this guy the whole thing. So the Gemara says that uh, that uh, no, his question was why did they have to go to mikvah? They could pour on themselves tisha kabin. Why do they have to run to the mikvah? You could take a shower. We'll talk about the you know how many minutes it takes till tisha kabin comes and you could take a shower, a few minutes, whatever it depends on how big your, your shower head is. Well, a few minutes, you take a shower again. They, so why do you have to go to run to the mikvah? So he says, why did the Gemara have to explain that that's the, the shayla? The Gemara could have said, he says, the Gemara could have said, he says, uh, he says, why didn't the Gemara say that the shayla of Shum Alevi was for people that saw Mayim Chalukim? And why are they going? Why are they going? They're part of from going. Because the Gemara didn't say it, is that I that the Chayev to go. That's a funny, a funny shesh. Maybe the Taka part it, that's what the Gemara doesn't say. And Mechlal, why should the Gemara bring a funny case? He was talking about this, the people running every morning to the Mikvah. He said, why are they running to the Mikvah? He understood that they're Baal Keri. So the Gemara understand. The, the Gemara says, well, you, you don't know that there's Takana Beza? So he says, the Shailah was, why did they have to run to the Mikvah? They could take a shower. To the, to the but to say, Mayim Chaluk, it was, uh, anyway, it's a funny diet this guy brings. But uh, anyway, so the, the, so, so, but the Rebbe says that the answer is right. Yom Kippur is different. Yom Kippur is more. As the Takona was only if a person was Mashamash uh, Mitosik. Therefore, you have to go to the Mikvah. But when it comes to Yom Kippur, even if you saw Maim Chalukim, you have to go to the Mikvah. Why? So the Rebbe continues like this. So it's a smart, not just because Yom Kippur is more humble. Yesh Lem, the Mahur is a Beloshin Abbein Azok and Balatanya Vashokhanor, Vashokhone Hazov. The Rebbe's thing was the Alter Rebbe's Loshin is Loshin Hazov. And every word is a diuk nifla and for emphat kashas. Zelu shoyne when hilchas yom kippur. Yeshem shatam tefilazur kadei umishum keri kadei shiyu nekim atoyer miyom kippur. But the reason we're toyvul before yom kippur is for to be nekim utahoyer, nekim utahoyer, clean and tov. Hashem kum atam tefilas azur shikadei shelo yitam et chochem metzuyim eitzel nishusem katan negod. That we the, that the, the Alter Rebbe says the reason why that the Ezra made a takon that they should go to the mikveh, they didn't want that the men should be with their the Jewish men should be with their wives like chickens. Me and you don't own a chicken coop. Vaisach nishva the main. But vice is that chickens are always busy betash mishamito, and they didn't want that the chum should be busy with their wives, so they should sit and learn. So what did they? What, what was the takon a trick? So uh, Ezra had a trick. He said that you must, you can't say any Toyota Tfil, you can't say the Abish's name, but Toyota Tfil after you with, with Meshamash Mitosik. So next time he's going to think twice. Do I want to, you know, especially if he uh, if he lives in uh, Polotsk, uh, Ezra didn't live in Polotsk, but eventually he's not going to live in Polotsk, right? And it's the middle of the winter and he's going to have to go break the ice to go to the mikveh. So he's going to think twice before his Meshamash Mitosik, if he's interested tomorrow morning to go break the ice, the table in the mikveh. So I'll end up being Mishamish Mitose less. Later, Chazal, they didn't, the Fakert, they saw that the Takana didn't stick and they were scared that you're not going to be the Maya too much in Piri Yavidiba. And we need the Jewish nation to grow. It's a big, big Maya to have, uh, to have Piri Yavidiba. We need the Jewish families to have a dozen children, another dozen children. We need, we need Am Yisrael to grow. So, Chazal decided to be mevatel the original takana. As I said, the Ramam explains that they realized that the original takana didn't take root. Okay. So why does Alter Rebbe say a different reason? That the regular mikveh that uh, is takana Ezra is 
they shouldn't be with their wives like a Tarnagal. And Yom Kippur is for Nikim at the So the Rebbe says, Shirak Tam Zesh, Utam Shochanor, Heter, Admor Zachim Shochanor. Because this is the Tam that the Beis Yosef brings in the Shochanor in the Besim and Peches. The Loi Tam Atur Kalos Roish. Take the Kushis Aprisha, the Prisha asks, Why does the Shochanor? There seems to be Machlok is the Rambam and Rashi. Rashi says that just like the Mount Torah, David should said they should go to the mikveh before Mount Torah. The same thing over here. The Ezra wanted before a person learns Torah, he should learn a be'ema be'ida be'reses be'zeya. And when he spent time with uh, uh, with uh, other things, which are taivas gashmias, this kalos roish. So therefore, when he goes from things of taivas, which are kalos roish, to learning Torah, he should go to the mikveh. In order to go up to the level of Amy Yid That's what Ashri says in this sugi here on in Brochis. But the Ramam says, and it's a Bafedish Yirushalmi, that the reason that Ezra made the Takona was not because of Kalus Rosh, it was because Shaloy Mitsuim Aitz and Shasem Katar Nagoilis. And Kate the Ram the Rebbe continues, Kano Baram Hilchas Tfilok, Fartinu Lidu Shalmi, it's a Bafed Mishnah Buru Rosh Khanar Khoisid Gam Tamatur. The Mishnah Bruder adds that uh, in the uh, Semen Peches, the Torah's reason, which is Kalos Roish, it's against the Shulchan Aruch. Shishinu and Mashkos of Beis Yosef Shmita, Vevi Tamar Amam, Vefrat the Kanal Yeshlam and Nafkimin al Ladina. It's the Nafkimin al Ladina. What is the Rebbe saying? The Rebbe is saying it like this: Beautiful lamas. Machloik is Rashi and the Rambam. Why did Ezra make the Takana for Kalos Roish or Shloi Mitzur and Etzel Hashem Katan the Goyles? What's the Rebbe saying it in very few words? And if you think that I learned the Pshat wrong, let me know. But I think that the uh, Devaposh, the Rebbe's saying is like this. What's the Nafkamina like Rashi or the Rambam? The Nafkamina is simple. If you, if a person sees Mayim Chalukim, he doesn't Mishamash Mitosai, but he saw Mayim Chalukim. If a person saw Mayim Chalukim, obviously it was, he had some Hiruhurim, he had some type of, why, why all of a sudden is the Zeta in his Merak line? Obviously there was something there of Kalos Roish. But the poly was not Misham Mishmitosa. So if you say the reason as it made a takona to go to the mikveh, that they shouldn't be like the chickens always in, in bed with the wife. So what that Maim Chalukim, he was not with his wife in the bed. So why should he have to go to the mikveh? That's not a chalukim takona. But if you say the reason the takona is for Kalos Roish, you could say a person that saw Maim Chalukim was more Kalos Roish. If he's with his wife, so he went to Kedusha, he did the mitzvah, to be Meshamash Mitos, it's mitzvah soin, it's a big mitzvah. Okay, so you could say also involves Kalos Roish, you have to do it in a way that the, the woman is happy, Mahulu, and a person himself has an Nefesh Bahamas, and he's not necessarily doing it Azoy Lishmo, like he's putting on a period film. So there could be an involvement of Kalos Roish, because his own pleasure comes to play. Okay, but Lepoil is doing a mitzvah. Lepoil is doing a mitzvah. He's been Meshamash is a, is a mitzvah. And a very big mitzvah, and a very important mitzvah. So, he, okay, so he's not doing it in the highest level of uh, l'shem shemaim. So, therefore, there's an uh, element of kalos roish. A person sees ma'am chalukim, that's mamish kalos roish. Where did he get the ma'am chalukim? That's kalos roish. So then for sure he has to go to the mikvah. So then afkamina, between the Rashi and the Rambam, is, is not just why did Ezra make the takon for kalos roish or shaloyu mitzuim etzel tene shaseim ketar nagoylam. But the Tanakh Kamina is in the halacha. Is it that he's only chayef to go if he was with his wife, or also if there was just Mayim Chalukim? So the Rebbe says that the Beis Yosef in the Shulchan Aruch said only the reason of the Rambam, and that's a Beferi Shikamar in Yerushalmi. So why would the Mishnah Buddha bring the other reason of the tour, even though Rashi says it, Rashi didn't pass in it, and it's a Lepoil that's a the Shulchan Aruch pass, why would you pass it against the Shulchan Aruch? It's an Afkamina. You bring a different reason, that would be an Afkamina Ladina. The Alter Rebbe Taka in Simon Peches brings only the reason of the base Yosef, which is Shiloh Yitzun Tzuyin Etz Shem Katana Goyle. On the Gabi Yom Kippur, he says the reason for the mikveh is for Tahar. Ah, now we understand why when you see Mayim Chalukim throughout the year, you don't have to go to the mikveh. What is it? What is it? The whole reason of the Tvila is Kedei Shiloh Yitzun Tzuyin Etz Shem Katana Goyle. Maim Chalukim has nothing to do with that. But look at Abiyam Kippur, which we have to have Nakiyah Zetahara. This Maim Chalukim is against Nakiyah Zetahara. He has to go to the mikvah again. So now we understand. It's not Stam. The, Rebbe's, the reason that the Rebbe is giving this Lamdus is because all the Mephoshim asked this question. So they say, because Yom Kippur is more Chalmer. Okay, it's more Chalmer. Midvas. 
the Rebbe is giving alumnus, gishmak alumnus, so that's very dinim. There's two reasons, machloikis rashi and ambam, why did the Ezra make the takana? Is it for kalas roish or it's kedoy shaloy mitzvah? And what's the nafkamina? The nafkamina is if he wasn't with his wife, but he saw mayim chalukim. If you say kalas roish, then for sure he has to go to Mecca. If you say shaloy mitzvah, it doesn't have to go to Mecca. And the Alter Rebbe passing is like Maron Beis Yosef, that it's uh, like the Rambam and the way to Mephorish in the Gemara in Yerushalmi. That the reason is kedoy shaloy mitzvah. And therefore, mayim chalukim, who cares mayim chalukim? But like Amiyam Kippur, if you go in kedoy netiv, the nikiz tarit, then you also have to go for mayim chalukim. But bring it back to what we're saying. That's why it's important to know that Rebbe's Chidush, that the, altar, that, that, that the whole Chidush of the Baal Shem Tev was not Tfilos Ezer, but an extra Kiddush. So therefore, that brings us that, therefore, we go to the Mikveh when a person was Meshamish, there's an extra Chizuk why you should have to go to the Mikveh. But the Indian of Chassidim, that we go to the Mikveh, so in other words, if you're doing Pasha, because Rabbeinu Yoyna said, that our shit is that like tefila you have to go to the mikveh, and even if you're potter, but tefila and mekubelas yoisik, so that would be only if you're mishamish mitosik. If at that last night you're mishamish mitosik, the next morning before you dive shachris, there's a special like potter for the mikveh. But if you weren't mishamish with your wife, so then uh, why would you have to go to the mikveh? But if you want to go mitzad the vort of the arizal that the meistach the simcha is not a mitzvah atzus is not a veda but simcha bring it to the greatest height and of the atzus the greatest low, and the Vashem Tov said and the Baran and the Karlin said they're going to the mikveh is not a mitzvah and they're not going to the mikveh is not a veda but if you go to the mikveh it'll bring you to the greatest heights, and the Vashem Tov was like to the greatest heights through the you know mikveh zok the Rebbe can't be tefilas ezri. Number one, then it would have been everyone that was Mekayim this. And, but okay, so you say the Vashem had more Kabonas. That doesn't make sense. But obviously, it was Mekedusha Lugedusha by the Vashem It was for extra Tahar and Akiyah, similar to Yom Kippur. So therefore, therefore, you should go every day before Tefillah. For Shtetzach right now, with uh, those that are still uh, concerned, uh, you know, we don't know yet what's going on. Those that are still concerned and want to do a shower for enough minutes, however many minutes, it depends on your shower head, from three minutes to seven minutes, in order to take Tisha Gabin. Um, so, Tove Elo Broch. But those that are already going out and are comfortable to go to the mikveh, so I'm bringing it up now because uh, mikveh is a very, very important union. And these are one of the three things that Al-Tarebbe says, the The other thing is learning And the third thing is giving tzedakah. Do you have Rachman and Oni? to open our heart and avoid Amen. Okay, I'll do quickly the last Shiloh. Someone asked, uh, just let me do 30 seconds on the last Shiloh. So someone called if he could do a haircut that was on the, on the, and, and the same day someone called if he can clip his nails. So the Alter Rebbe says in Simer Eish Samach, Behuda Chosi also said not to, to clip your nails, but the Alter Rebbe doesn't bring it. So Zaraya, then on Rish, on Rish Chodesh, you're not allowed to take a haircut, but the uh, nail clipping is mutter. Now you could say the Alter Rebbe was only talking about Erev Shabbos. So, uh, Erev Shabbos, it's say a haircut, not going to like you. Nail clipping, no, Erev Shabbos. But there's no Hechrei, and you could say that the Alter Rebbe meant it uh, all, all across the board. So the bottom line is, you're not allowed to take a haircut on Rish Chodesh, but uh, but it sounds a little bit from the Alter that you could be make a legabe nail clipping. If you could make sure to nail clip before or after the Shchodesh, that would be much better. Okay. To summarize our three Shailas, the first Shaila was about uh, uh, the first Shaila was about uh, about a um, Everyone coming out of this pandemic is mechuyev to give us shevach ve'edor to Hashem is born. Now, if you're chayv to say mamish hagoimel, so it depends. It's Fardi, Ashkenazi, were you sick, were not sick. The best thing is you, someone else should make the bracha and you should be yoitz. And if you are chayv, then then it's a shayla. If uh, better, you should do your own or breva madas melach. And there seems to be minhagim this way, the other way. Um, I'm not sure. But definitely, we have to make a kiddush and thank Hashem is baruch. We have to give tzedakah and we have to say parshas toida in in parshas tzav in al toida for and we have to give tzedakah and thank Hashem is baruch. Second shaila is about 
uh, about mikveh. Definitely, if you're not going back to the, the thing, you should take a shower for long enough. It should be Tisha Kabin. But uh, mikveh is definitely has a certain mila. Why would mikveh have a mila? Because we're going because we're not doing it just for Ezra. If we're doing it for Ezra, so Tisha Kabin is good enough. But if you're doing it mitahara l'tahara, then you need mamish to have a mikveh. The, the, the other thing is that uh, if it's kadai not to take a shower after the mikvah. Again, if you're concerned about COVID, so take a shower after the mikvah. But if you're not concerned about COVID, there is, uh, we know that the Rizal used to dafka not even dry ahead of Shabbos when he went to the mikvah. Okay, many of us are not at that daga not to dry, but uh, Kol uh, taking a shower, it's better to take the shower before the mikvah. Again, if there's COVID, this and there's uh, shash of germs. Uh, I'm just saying the, the Indian Shabbaza. The bottom line was that there was a beautiful Chiddush from the Rebbe here. The Ezra made a Takona, and the Rebbe says that this, this to Machlokas Rashi and Amma was called a Kalas Rosh or Shaloya Mitzun, it's a Shem Kakar in the Golem. And the Nafkamina is if it's only if he was with his wife or even for Mayim Chalukim and uh, Lapoil. The poiskim, some hold that the gabit fila yemachuyev, and other hold that the gabit fila at the mekubelas yoyse, and the Alter Rebbe gives a tam api kabbalah why it's uh, it, it, why it's mekubelas yoyse, but uh, but uh, but uh, lepoil uh, lepoil the Rebbe brings from the Bashemtov that his big the, all the mile of the Bashemtov is from the mikveh. The Rebbe says it's not mitzad fila says that it's mitzad in kedusha gufa to go up in a higher darga. So therefore, that's that would be even when it was not with his wife, and therefore it's negated to every day, every day before davening shachris, and every time before we're doing a special mitzvah, and every time we're going to the tzina kodesh, and every time before erev shabbos and erev yom. David shall help them that tashreichem misroel if they miat the metad and miat metad etzchem that uh, that David should finally mikveh yisrael Hashem that they should take us out metuma sagolus latada the vias mashiach tzakenu. Now over there, we're definitely. We're definitely uh, Mitz Hashem. We're gonna keep like uh, like just like in the days of the base of Mikdash. We're all gonna keep full in Altaras Hakodesh. Remembers of the a chicken a chicken lays the egg every 24 hours. That's the yeah. muscle of a chicken. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Robert. Oh, very nice. Okay, you should go. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So you're telling uh, so you're telling hours. us that the vort is that the sheared is once in 24 hours is already like a tar Right. <laughs> it's interesting because the Chazal said that the people that are the uh, Tayolim, that the people that are Yoshev Kronos, that they they that they should do it once a day. So uh, okay, fine, but uh, but 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 the Tamid Chachamim are supposed to do it once a week. So that's what Ezra didn't want that Tamid Chacham should do it once a day. He should do it once a week. So the Mela he put this uh, put this burden of the Tefillah right. Mikra. Okay, Yesh Loima. I'm just I adding feel, to what you're saying about the once a I day. Feel, I feel never for the Spadin who marry two or three wives. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, maybe are, that yeah. you could say that that's a shot Nishri say him. Uh-huh. That was there was a big concern when it was at that time when it was Nishri say him. Oh, so it was a, a bigger concern. Okay. 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 Thank you, guys.